All right. I usually don't do this very often. I'm used to going live, but uh, my live streaming capabilities is pretty negligent right now. So you're going to see this, the full content on Steemit, and you're going to also see it on Library. You're unfortunately not going to be able to watch the rest of this on YouTube or anywhere else that I usually upload videos to. So uh, sorry about that, but that's just the way it goes. Now, <clears throat> before I go into my third and final ayahuasca experience, and there's a reason why it's my final ayahuasca experience, um, I'll start with just kind of summing up the first two experiences of ayahuasca that I had. The first ayahuasca experience, um, <clears throat> you can also see it on my YouTube. I've I've got that experience um, live streamed. <clears throat> when I think of my three ayahuasca experiences and my my first two in hindsight, the first ayahuasca experience that I had was more of a birth, showing who I was. And that was great. It was, um, it got me to realize just my potential of, of, and the, the culmination of, of everything that <clears throat> that I am and well with that type of experience I I was um, <laughs> I was full of ego in a way and um, I don't think that was supposed to be the result of it but I think it was part of the lesson. And the reason why is the second lesson, uh, my second ayahuasca experience, was... <coughs> pardon me. Was of death. So my first ayahuasca experience was of life, of birth, and who I was. And my second ayahuasca experience was of death and who I wasn't. And it really ingrained into me the, the things that I didn't want to be. And because of that, I made changes within my life. I pushed my ego aside and really tried to... Uh, amend some things or at least apologize to ones that I might have pushed away and um, not all but a good amount and it was such a, a tough experience and I'm talking about an experience where I experienced myself holding on to existence itself it's, it's more than life just existence imagine uh, yourself vibrating away and you have tremendous strength but <clears throat> to keep yourself together from vibrating away yet how strong how long can you last doing that and once you stop you vibrate away into nothingness and so as strong as I felt as strong as I was it's it was just torment, really. It was the most frightened I've ever been in my life. And But it wasn't like... Um, like a, a fear of death. It was just a fear of, of fading, uh, disappearing. I, it's really difficult to explain. Um, and so... That was a very, very difficult lesson, but I, I learned it and I learned who I wasn't and the reason for not being who I'm not. <laughs> I know that sounds a little weird. So let, let me recap the first ayahuasca experiences of birth and who I was. And my second ayahuasca experience was of death and who I wasn't. And a couple months passed between my second and third experience because the second experience was very, very difficult. And <clears throat> I 
If you want to watch the rest of my content, you'll have to go to my Steemit blog at Steemit at Ebon Kim or my library account at Ebon Kim. I'll see you there.